Welcome back guys to the official season number two of gold mining. We currently finished season one and went through winter time, which our gold mine was shut down for like three months. And for season two, our goal is to really expand the second gold mine, which means getting this gold mine back up and running for the season and buying a ton of equipment for a second gold mine over on the island. Let's get into it. Welcome back home. Yeah, you've been here for like a couple months keeping the place hammered down. When did you start up the pay dirt pile? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I went ahead and pushed a bunch of dirt forward and got everything started back up yesterday. Everything's unfrozen? Yeah, it's been unfrozen for a few days now. Oh, perfect. When did you get a new pickup truck? You must have got one for the season. A Ford Cummins Turbo Diesel with Mike Tyson's face. Where did you get that? Well, I found it off Craigslist, okay? You can find anything you want on Craigslist. The creative aspect of whoever put Turbo Diesel with Mike Tyson's face on it. I... 10 out of 10, man. Oh, yeah. Now, this right here will last me all season, if not the rest of my life. Heck, yeah. You got a fifth wheel and a gooseneck and a welder on the back, a Yeti cooler. I mean, you can't ask for anything better for a site manager. Also, you guys know what time it is. American Farming Time. Most of you guys probably don't care because you guys probably already own the game. But if you don't know about American Farming, it's a mobile game that we developed, meaning Squad Built Team developed. Check it out down below if you're interested in farming games. In case you guys don't know or are new, Nate is the site manager of the Mountain Opera and then happy farms is the site manager of the island operation over there okay so today we have to go ahead and get the other sites go ahead and get the equipment back over there we gotta get all the equipment started up this inside the shed so we gotta get all that rest of that started up put it over there and then we also need to buy happy some equipment for his for his mind today perfect and i messed up so many times there <laughs> hey it's the first day of the season okay so first things first we had these trucks loaded and then the wash plant completely froze last year in november december so they have pater in them which we needed to unload so everything has been tucked inside this machine shed over winter we've got all of our wheel loaders all of our rock trucks all of our dozers everything's need started up and put back in its position outside so that's the plan see if this truck starts oh it starts right up are you kidding me i hope they would i just replaced the fuel filters on another day what about the batteries nate they've been inside they shouldn't have died so we'll get the rock truck backed up this is like three month old pay dirt which is no difference i mean this stuff has been sitting for hundreds of years there we go we'll start dumping it and the mine is officially open for the 2024 season and nate's dumping the third truck load number three is now in last year we had revenues of anywhere between 30 and 40 million dollars we still got to talk to our CPA and go over our books a little bit. But this year, we should be able to do anywhere from like 75 to $100 million in revenue. That's what we're hoping for, which means we got to increase our mining capacity by like two or three X to get there. Nate, did you? Do you charge this one? Don't tell me I forgot to flip the battery disconnect on it. Come on, hit it again. She wants to turn over. Okay, let's see oh, what we got course. for tools. I'll just grab the battery charger over here, the jumper, and we'll throw it on there. And then, let's see, we should have a can of ether. There we go. Can of ether. Perfect. Okay, Nate, take that can of ether and just spray it. Soak this thing in ether, man. Okay, okay. Spray it, Nate. Come on. Come on. Keep spraying. <laughs> Keep Come spraying, on. man. Come on. There we go, baby. Okay, nice. Of course, it's the last one that doesn't want to start. But we'll back her up and dump her. Okay, now these four trucks have to go over to pay dirt pile number two on the mountain mine. Nate will probably give me a ride back with a side by side and we'll just keep running these trucks over here and keep them at the pay dirt pile. There we go. Oh, you, you passed me, Nate. Okay, it's fine. Give me a ride back. Don't tell Buck I stole this one from his yard. It's all good. Got the second rock truck and then Nate's actually hauling the side by side with the wheel loader because we need the wheel loader over there. As long as he doesn't run that thing over, he should be good. You said run it over? No, don't run it over, Nate. Don't run it over now something that i think would be really neat is to get a bunch of employees at the mine at some point like hire some of you guys to come on here and run rock trucks and wheel loaders for us okay so i'm heading over to swap out nate because nate needs to go run and do some other stuff he's currently run the dozer oh yeah he's pushing a lot of pay dirt there it's all yours okay thanks nate it's been a while it's been a couple months since we've been in the d10 there we go let's see if i can do this correctly you don't want to go too deep or too aggressive at once you just want to kind of keep it smooth 
smooth. Push a nice pile over there, back her up, and keep pushing. Okay, we should have a big enough pile. They're pretty good. Hey, I got a question. What's that? You want to come with me and let's look at another mine site that's really close to here? Heck yeah. Hop in the mule. Hold on, Nate. Oh, dear Lord. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow <laughs> oh, that down. was smooth. Slow it down. Get out right here. You can kind of see it down there. It's like really close, but it's up a really steep hill. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like we don't need more piles right now. But you got to remember, Buck don't have a mindset of his own. We'll figure out how much they're offering for it. That might not be the worst idea in the world. Okay, we got the conveyor belts running a little bit. We could get the other Pater pile to run, but it's only me and Nate. So I want to show you guys how much Pater we have found over on Happy's Island Mine. There is a ton over there. And so me and Nate are going to hop over there. Did you just sit? Okay, a little weird how he sits in the back seat. But anyways, me and Nate are going to head over there. And there's our brand new bridge we built. This is going to be super nice, not having to use the barges at all. There we go. We'll just go across the bridge and there's our new mine. Okay, so as you guys know and as you guys have seen, here's the island mine that we're currently trying to get up running. We don't have enough equipment yet and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow most likely. But we're going to have hop in Happy's Gator over here and show you guys the pay dirt pile that these guys have developed. It's pretty darn cool. This is the only road right here going to his mine site. I think he's going to have a lot of problems with it. I think he needs a second road going in here because you can't just have one road for all your traffic. Yep, exactly. And this is where we're going to pull the pay dirt out of. So we got the site over there, the wash bin over here, and they got to drive all the way back here to pull the pay dirt. But there is a lot of pay dirt back here. Check this out. So over here, we have a pay dirt pile, which is the biggest pile I've ever seen A pay dirt. Like we have nothing over there on our mountain mine. This big at all now this one right here in the middle is the biggest one of all i estimate 100 acres and this is why we need a ton of equipment over on this mine and we're pretty much going to go through like all 14 million dollars just buying equipment just for this mine but check out how much pay dirt there is that these guys found here so this is going to be like our number one go-to site once we can get this thing up and running and don't forget about the third and the fourth mine site as well back here i think half was telling me the other day they cleared roughly three to four feet of overburden over off of all this already yeah because they everything's down just to pay dirt now i think he said he spent roughly four million dollars just getting everything cleared off and Don't there's site number three pay dirt pile number three and pay dirt pile number four which means we're gonna have pay dirt over on the island for years and years and years to come which means we can invest a lot of money in infrastructure because it's gonna pay off okay we got our snow equipment over at happy's place but we're gonna head inside the office and make a list of what we need for equipment okay so me and nate got a list we're thinking for the size of piles we need to move and how much pay dirt we need to move we need eight rock trucks two wheel loaders one more dozer and how many more excavators two two more excavators okay so that's yeah. what we need and we are off to spend our 14 and a half million dollars the question is for nate how much money are we gonna have left after we visit this dealership my bet none you think we can spend 14.5 million dollars i'm pretty good at spending money i don't know if you've noticed oh boy that is a lot of equipment. You feel your wallet shrinking yet? Yep. Ah, hello, gentlemen. How's it going? Oh, another day in paradise. How about you two? Doing good. About to spend the most money we've ever spent, which should be pretty good for you. All right. Well, my name's Yosho. Uh, I'll be your salesman for the day, and uh, we'll get you all hooked up with uh, whatever you need. What you guys looking for? Let's start with what's at the top of your list. I guess let's start with the number, what we need the rock most trucks. of, the rock trucks. We need, how many, how many do you say, Nate? Six? Six rock trucks? Six, seven. Six rock trucks. And nice. if you have six right. people to run them, that'd be great too. Uh, I'm sure we can probably find somebody. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How much are those rock trucks out there? Well, let's go check them out. We got a couple of different models out here. Over here, we got the uh, the Volvo A40G. It doesn't have a tailgate on it, but it does support 476 horsepower. And it's about a 50,000 liter bucket there or dump. Should be good to haul whatever you need. What do you got them priced at? Uh, right now, we're running them at uh, 350K. 350K? Me and Nate have ran these. We know these are solid trucks. We put a lot of hours in these things are they worth 350k though i don't know what do you think nate i kind of think some of them are but i wouldn't mind getting like a mixture like get true, three of these true. and like maybe like get, i wonder how much these are back here okay so this is our newer model it is the a60h volvo it only has forty-eight thousand liters uh it does have 410 horses and it runs three hundred thousand. so it's a little bit newer model a little bit cheaper because it's a little bit smaller in the the load that it can carry let me hop in her i'm not mistaken we already have one of these but it wouldn't be the worst idea to get maybe one or two more. Yeah, Nate. I don't know. I don't know about these. Let me hop in these interiors. I got to 
remember what they feel like. Ain't like you weren't just running on one a little bit ago. Okay. Same interior, same interior. Okay. Sir, can we have a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. Not a problem. Yeah, Let me shoot. know. Thank you. Shoot. Think about this for a second. You're paying 50 extra grand for two extra thousand liters. 50 grand. I yeah. almost say that 300 grand is a little bit better than 350 grand. I mean, I do like those rock trucks we run, but yeah, makes sense. Okay, so what if we do three and three? Do we even need six rock trucks, though, Nate? Like, yes. We don't yeah. even have... Are you sure? Remember, Happy has a lot further room to go, so he's going to need more trucks to fill up at one point. Okay, so I'm thinking three and three, if that works for yep. you. Okay, well, Let's see if we can talk them into a package deal, though. Okay, Yosho, we'll take six rock trucks. We're going to work out the price after we get everything bought because I, I, I think you got... I'm looking at your truck. You got a little room, negotiating room. I see you're making some good profits off these. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I do have a little bit of wiggle room on these. Okay. You know, these are the prices, so... Okay, I'm let's... Sure we um, just some kind of deal out. You said six of them. Are you wanting uh, a mixture of the two different models or is there a certain yep. model that you got your eyes on? Three and three is what we'll do. And then we need two more wheel loaders for sure. All right, let's head into the showroom floor here. So here you go. You got the Volvo 350H. She is loaded too. I mean, we got 532 horsepower, 34 tons, you know, in case you need to know your weight there. And uh, we have a capacity of 18,000 on the bucket here that comes with the uh, the wheel loader itself. And uh, we're doing a special on her for 380,000. She was 400,000, but we're, we're dropping 20,000 off of her. Okay, Nate, what do our buckets and the cats hold? Pretty similar. So it'd be three, three dumps to fill a truck. It definitely should be. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yosho, how many of these do you have? Um, I have the one here on the showroom floor, but I can probably get a couple more in tomorrow. Well, didn't you have two in the back? You know what? Let's go check that out. Yeah, we do have a couple back here. So that shipment must have come in. Oh, I know what it is. We didn't process these, process these in yet. What was the price on these again? We're selling them for 380 Let me do some mental yeah. math real quick. Nate, do we need any more excavators or anything like that? I would say at least get him one more excavator. What do you got for excavators, Yosho? Let's see. Are you needing a long reach or just a standard excavator? Nate? That would be you a happy be question. The the <laughs> He's the guy with the money. I'm the guy with the plan. Uh, <laughs> All right. That makes sense. Honestly and truly, I would prefer to get one of each for him, but if we only are getting one, I'd say get him a standard. All right. So our standard ones are going to be out here. Holy Toledo, man. You got the excavator lined up over here. My gosh. Uh, although you can see what our popular model is because we have quite a few of these over here. So these these are our tried and true workhorses, the Cat 385Cs. There's some uh, really good excavators here. They sport 544 horsepower. They're 90 tons. And they have a capacity of 13,000 liters. Uh, we're running those at 280,000. Let's go inside and do some negotiating, Yosho. All right, sounds like a plan. Serious stuff. I'm assuming you got some coffee around here? Yeah, if there's uh, any made in the pot over there, have at it. Okay, business time. Right now, we have everything at $2,990,000. That, that's what you have retail price in. Now, we're going to pretty much buy out, from my eye, almost half this dealership. With that being said, you are going to go home and make a ton of money in commission today if we do this Did we deal. get a dozer? I don't have a dozer on the list. Are, are you needing a dozer as well? You think what I'm thinking, Nate? Go for it. So with everything we purchased today, we still need a dozer. We'll do the price of $2,999,000. We'll call it $3 million. Plus, you okay. throw in a dozer of our choosing. And that's the deal. That's the deal. You walk away with a ton of cash today, huge commission check, your biggest day ever, and we get the sale and a little bit of discount. Oh, let's see. Three million and a dozer of your choosing? Yep. Uh, I don't know if I can do that because uh, we got a we got a dozer out there that's that's pretty pricey. Oh, is, that, uh, is, that, is, that, is that my phone ringing? Is this the... Yes. Jared Ekamatu? You guys are two out... You have a dealership two hours away? Ah, oh, okay. Well, we. I'm not going another two hours well, now. Nate, just stay with it, man. We'll be over there soon. I'll see. I'm leaving another dealership. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, I can work you a deal on it, but like I said, the D10, I, I can't. What's the best deal you can price? give us on it? Okay, so it's it's listed at six hundred thousand for the D10. Okay. Cat bulldozer. Uh, I can go fifty percent off. I can make it three hundred thousand. Okay, I, hold on. We'll do that with a caveat. What's the caveat? Free delivery on everything. Free delivery, huh? How far away is uh, your location? Hour, hour half. All you right, guys got your see. own trucks. That's that's a pretty good deal he's cutting you. Nate, I don't even know if we should give him that good a deal. I don't think so either, but that's the kind of deal I'm going for. All right, let's see. Let me do some number crunching here to make sure. Yeah, yeah, we, we can do delivery. I'll take care of it for you. You got yourself a deal, you show. Nate, that was one of the biggest checks I've ever written for equipment. I feel kind of sick right now, spending that kind of money, but Yosho, when do you think you'll have the equipment over? Uh, we could probably have everything uh, ready to be delivered by tomorrow. That sound good enough? That works for us. Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, thank you for doing business with us. I greatly appreciate it. If you ever need anything else, you know where we're at. Perfect. Sounds good. Get me out of here before you spend more money. I'm telling Buck on you. I just hope you know. Well, 
We did some dealing. We didn't spend all of our money, which is good, Nate. Okay, so we just got off the phone with Yosho, and one of their trucks isn't running. Um, they can't get it to start. So to speed things up, me and Nate are just going to wait around all day. We're not even going to start mining. So I'm thinking we'll both get in a truck and help haul stuff back over to the to the island mine here. Okay, so we arrived here. Yosho's getting rock trucks loaded up on the low loaders. He's done this so many times. He's got it down. And then we're going to be using his trailers, actually. There you go, Nate. Keep going forward. We're probably going to overload these trailers. Okay, so we got everything loaded down. I got to fold my ramps up yet, but we got all the trucks loaded down. And then Nate has literally a D10 dozer, a wheel loader, and a cat excavator all loaded down. So basically, all we got to come back for is two more wheel loaders. And actually, Yosho should be able to haul the other two wheel loaders uh, once he comes back. So, I mean, we're hauling everything in four truck loads, which is pretty insane. All right, who wants to go first? Or do y'all want me to? Uh, Nate, yeah, you do it, man. Because if you fall off or go on a bridge, yeah, we'll just let you go first. Nate is tipped. That excavator, man, this is a little unrealistic how much weight we have on there, but like I said, we're taking back roads, so anything's legal as long as you can move it on a back road. I forgot about this part. Okay, Come we're going to go through a little muddy spot here. We should be able to pull through her. Oh, yeah. Easy for the peat. Okay, we got some more mud here. We got to cross through. We should be able to get through her with the peat. Come on, old girl. Oh, gosh, we might be stuck. Come on. Come on. We got her. We got her. We got her. We're moving. I, I think it's more of a rock we're stuck on than anything. Come on. There we go. We're good. Okay, maybe not. It's a rock. I don't know what it is. There we go. A little more. A little more. I got her in granddaddy low. She should just be able to walk out of here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Yosho. Just be careful, man. I think you got a little more clearance in your truck, so you should be able to make it through better than me. There you go. Give her. Smart tactic. Staying on the edge. He's got at least one set of tires that are gripping. He's got her. He's got her. He's got her. Come on. Just a little more to go. He is just full throttle. Come on, baby. The old Pete. There, there we, we go. go. We okay, it. he's out. Nate, you on the CB there? Yep. Are you there already? Not yet. I'm close, though. I'm okay. about to across the bridge. Okay, I think this bridge is going to be able to hold Nate's and Tester out first. He's got the heaviest load, so if it holds Nate, should be able to hold us. We're going to find out. Like I said, this is a homemade bridge. I am not looking forward to this. I am definitely keeping my door open on this one. Should be good, Nate. All right, we're on her. Nate just got off. We'll go across her. Easy. Yosho, definitely get speed when you come across. We're going to get these rock trucks off. Park them in the shed over here. For now, we'll just park the rock truck pretty much against the wall. Back her off. And we're good. Man, I really like the big tires on these these rock trucks. I really think they look good. And then they seem to just be run a little more smoother on the rock truck with having these kind of big floater tires. I like this. Well, Grant, you know what the good part about this is? What's that? Happy has no excuse on why his mind ain't running. That is true. He'll be making more money than you. I don't know about all that. Oh, you watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> you remember, I have a constant stream of pay dirt no matter what. And there they are, boys and girls. The last two rock trucks. Yosho's delivering them. And we already got our wheel loader back, the last wheel loader we needed. So this is going to be it. And we're getting things organized. Me and Nate have just been, uh, what have we been doing, Nate? I've been playing American Farming is what I've been doing. And there we go. We'll get the last two off. Get everything parked inside here. There we go. Oh, he doesn't back into me. Oh, yeah. This place is loaded down. To give you guys a little organization, we have our three semi trucks up front. And then we have personal truck, gator, some wheel loaders with snow blowers, two dozers. And then we have our six rock trucks ready to rock and roll. And then our two, these are going to be our two main wheel loaders, our excavator, and then the mulcher that we use to mulch brush and stuff like that. So we got this place like crazy organized definitely check out yosho's youtube channel and nate's youtube channels down below thanks to yosho for coming on here his first time on a squad video and hey we will see you guys in the next one